Are you serious? Are you serious? Get a cup of coffee. We got some information coming out of Jerusalem. Uh, Jewish activists are wanting to pray at Jerusalem's Temple Mount. It's raising alarm in the Muslim world. What? Well, I guess it probably would uh, because, but folks, this is all going to be a part of this covenant with many, which it's spoken of in Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. Now, a small but growing movement by Jewish activists demanding the right to pray at the site of their destroyed temple in the heart of this disputed capital's old city is creating a potentially explosive clash with the Muslim world, which considers the spot holy and bans Jews from public worship there. Now, each week, hundreds of Jews ascend the creaky wooden ramp built above the western wall and enter what is often called the most contested real estate on the earth. Many of them embark upon a game of hide-and-seek with their police escorts, whispering forbidden prayers while pretending to talk on cell phones and getting in quick but banned bows by dropping coins and then bending to pick them up. Their proposals, long dismissed as extremists, are now being debated in the Israeli parliament and embraced by an expansionist wing in the ruling coalition government of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. These political leaders, many in Netanyahu's party, want Israel to assert more, not less, control over the West Bank, East Jerusalem, and the Old City, including the place known to the Jews as the Temple Mount, and to the Muslims as Haram al-Sharif, or the Noble Sanctuary. Now, we're looking for it to be divided between the Jews and the Muslims said the chairman for the Temple Mount organization, which claims 27 groups under its umbrella. Today, Jews realize the Western Wall is not enough. They want to go to the real thing. Two millenniums ago, this place was the site of the Jews' second temple, which was destroyed in 70 AD by the Roman Empire. Now, first temp The first temple was built by Solomon, King Solomon. It was destroyed in 586 BC by the Babylonian Empire. Now, by the Roman legions of Titus, who cast the Jews into exile. The Western Wall visited by 10 million people a year. And I was there last year. Actually, I was there this year, wasn't I? Yeah, that's right. In May of 2013. And went down to the Wayland Wall. Matter of fact, I received a vision, a dream from the Lord the night before. So powerful a dream that I went down the next morning to the Wailing Wall and uh, prayed there. But uh, I also... Uh, felt led to do a YouTube video and reveal that dream while at the Wailing Wall. It's on YouTube, so I, I recommend you go watch that because it's very powerful. My new book that's coming out right now, being released in uh, December, late December, is Jerusalem Jihad. It's a very important, uh, wow, what, what timing is this article with that book because of the uh, significance of, of the time we're living in as far as apocalyptically we're living in the days that Jesus spoke would come, and we're seeing it come to pass. So you might want to check this out, what God is doing. So there, there's a lot of tension. I want to thank Calvin Laporte for this. I want to thank Nick of New York for some other uh, information. Also, Penny of Virginia, Reverend Gary of Kentucky. I want to thank Sheila of Alabama. I want to thank quite a few people who have sent me some stuff very good today that's helped us in these YouTube videos. Now, while this tensions going on. Benjamin Netanyahu has been in Rome and he made these comments. I want to thank Penny of Virginia for this. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is criticism of the six world powers and their interim government with Iran, their interim agreement, excuse me, with Iran. They went from warning the accord would lead to unraveling of the sanctions in the regime to stating in Rome on Monday. He says that it's already happening. There appears to be a general relaxation of the sanctions and a rush to accommodate Iran. Uh, Netanyahu continues speaking against the agreement that the six superpower nations made with Iran. Those six are the United States of America, Russia, China, 
Britain, France, and Germany, the six major powers, all put an agreement together with Iran, allowing Iran to continue to process enriched uranium and continue to build uh, their water uh the water uh, plant where they would cool the spent fuel rods, but Iran agreed not to make uh, weapons-grade uranium, at least for six months. They can revisit it. Guys, this is an appeasement if i ever seen it. And didn't Benjamin and Yahoo doesn't trust it at all. And so this is what's bringing apart a lot of the tensions in the Middle East as the threat of annihilation of Jerusalem by Iran looms over the head. Meanwhile, the Jewish people want to go worship up on the Temple Mount. And really what they want to do is build the third temple and let the Muslims continue to go to the, the Dome of the Rock, to the mosque there, and then leave the courtyard open for the Christians to come and to walk around and worship and stand up on the Temple Mount. This is really what they want. And that's why Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, the president of the, the Palestinians, Maud Abbas, and the Pope have been talking among themselves, and that's why the, their Pope, the Pope is now going to come to Jerusalem in May of next year, 2014, after the first blood moon. So we're going to be in the four blood moon cycle when he appears. This might be the day they sign. Who knows? This might be the signing of the seven-year peace agreement, the peace and safety and which would then lead to the building of the temple. I don't know, but it's very, 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 we're getting very close to the major biblical milestone that Jesus spoke about in Matthew 24 in verse 15. You know, uh, Jesus said these words, of course, of all these signs at the end. He said in verse 14, he said, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. Well, when you go back, you can understand. By go back to Daniel 9.27, you understand that it is a covenant with many, which would then bring about this abomination of desolation where the there would be this uh, idolatrous worship in the temple of God. Now, Jesus then makes reference to that. But we know when Daniel first spoke it, of course, it was during a time when the first uh, temple was going to be destroyed by the Babylonians, which it was about 200 years later. Okay, but then it was rebuilt. And then Jesus now standing there sees the second temple, which is the Herod's temple, and he mentions it again. But that was destroyed and it was also desecrated. But that wasn't what we're talking about because Paul then, talks about it in Thessalonians that the Antichrist, the son of perdition, the wicked one, the, the lawless one, the one that shall be revealed will walk into the temple of God before the worshipers of God and declare that he is God. Now that's the third temple. So Jesus is saying when you see the abomination, when you see the Antichrist walk in to that temple and declare that he is God, that is the abomination of desolation. Now folks, for that to happen, you have to first have a covenant, and that covenant has to include the right of the Jews to build the third temple. And this is why they are converging. This thing is coming, I'm telling you. And these weapons of mass destruction are going to force Israel to have to sign an agreement with their enemy to carve up part of the land, which they do not want to do, believe me. But they will do it if they can get the right to build that temple. So as, you, as I just read to you, there's 27 factions within the Knesset and within the city of Jerusalem that are demanding, I mean, here's a picture, demanding the right to go and pray. And then you can see all the Muslims protesting against it. They do not want them up there praying on the Temple Mount. So this thing is getting very, very we're getting very close we're living in very, very precarious time. We're living in the apocalyptic... Are you serious? What? Something biblical's going on with the signs. The second coming of Christ. I'll be right back. I've got so much going on today. Wow.